and loss. This is a very simple topic and also very, very, very important from your exam point of view. Let us see this now. If my cost price is greater than my selling price, then it is obvious that I am incurring losses. And if my cost price is smaller than my selling price, then I am incurring profits. Correct? This is the concept that we just studied. Now, I can say that I incur some loss percentage and some profit percentage in both of these cases respectively. Now, let us take an example. Let us say that my cost price is equal to 250 rupees and my profit percentage is equal to 10%. Therefore, when we go from 250 towards selling price, I'll make an increment of 10%. Now, 10% 10 of 250 is 25. Therefore, this amount will increase by 25 and hence we get our selling price which will be 275 rupees. Correct? Now, let us take an example for this as well. If my cost price is equal to 400 and my loss percent is equal to 15% then to go from 400 to my selling price I'll have to make a reduction of 15% from 400 correct now 15% of 400 is 60 hence I'll reduce 16 from this amount to get my selling price which will be 340. This is a very small example of this concept. Let us now see how the reverse format works for this. To move from A to B and back to A. Here A is our cost price, B is our selling price. Now let us consider that A is equal to 100. As in, our cost price is equal to 100. Now, if I incur profit of 25% and made my selling price, this will mean that 25 rupees has been added to my cost price, that is 100, to make the selling price as 125. Now, the reverse relationship comes over here. If I have to go back from selling price to my cost price, I'll have to reduce 25. But this reduction of 25 is being made from 125, which is a selling price. Therefore, we'll have to calculate that what percent is 25 of 125, which is 20%. Therefore, we come back to our cost price as 100. Now, understand this. Here, we made an increment of 25% from cost price to come to a selling price. Then, we made a reduction of 20% from a selling price to come back to our cost price. I hope this is clear. To make things more clear, let us take an example. The question on the screen now says by selling a table for rupees 330 a trader gains 10%. Find the cost price of the table and our options are option A 300, option B 363, option C 297, option D 270. Let us now look at the solution to this question. Let us now move on to another example. The question on your screen now reads Here we have been told that cost price is 96% of selling price. Therefore, if we consider our selling price to be equal to 100 
our cost price will be 96 96% of selling price now what will be the profit it will be nothing but selling price minus cost price which is 4 rupees now we remember that our profit percentage formula was profit upon cost price into 100 let us put these numericals into this formula now profit is 4 cost price is 96 into 100 this gives us 4.17 percent which is equivalent to 4.2 percent therefore giving us the correct option to be option b which is 4.2 percent let us now move on to another example. The question on your screen now reads P buys some coffees at 6 for a rupee and sells them at 4 for a rupee. Find his gain percent. Let us now look at the solution to this question. Since we have been given 6 and 4 as the number of coffees, let us first find the LCM of it, which will be 12. Okay, now if he buys 6 toffees for 1 rupee, 1 toffee will have the value of 1 by 6 rupee. Now, similarly, if he is selling 4 toffees for 1 rupee, he is selling 1 toffee in 1 by 4 rupee. Okay, keeping in mind this now, the cost price for 12 toffees will be 1 by 6 into 12 because this was the cost price for 1 toffee. Therefore, for 12 toffees it will be 1 by 6 into 12 which gives us 2 rupees. Okay. Similarly, our selling price for 12 toffees will be 1 by 4 which was the selling price for 1 toffee into 12 which gives us 3 rupees. Now, our profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Therefore, 3 minus 2 gives us 1 rupees. To find profit percentage, we use our previous formula which was profit which is 1 rupee over here upon cost price which is 2 rupees over here into 100 which gives us 50% as our answer. Therefore, the total profit that the person incurred was 50%.